Iran has unveiled what it says is its first domestically made hypersonic ballistic missile. Named Fatah, it was revealed at a ceremony attended by President Ibrahim Raisi and top commanders of the Revolutionary Guard. Hypersonic missiles can fly on a complex trajectory at least five times faster than the speed of sound. That makes them difficult to be intercepted. Dorsa Jabari joins us now live from Tehran. Dorsa, tell us about this development of a hypersonic missile. Well, this is the first in Iran's uh, ballistic missile arsenal. Uh, it was first announced by the Aerospace Division of the Revolutionary Guard back in November. And finally, today, it was unveiled to the high-ranking officials in the capital by the head of the Aerospace Division of the Revolutionary Guard, Commander um, Amir Ali Haji Zadeh. Uh, he said that this was a monumental day for Iran's defense capabilities. We also uh, heard from Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi at the ceremony and he had the message to regional countries that it should be a, a joyous occasion for them as well because as he saw it this the development of the first hypersonic ballistic missile uh, in Iran it's an occasion to understand that it's for deterrence purposes it's something that will protect not only uh, the Iranian nation but also regional countries from what he called aggressive uh, countries that are trying to destabilize uh, the region he may call it a deterrent but what do we make of the timing of the announcement? What with the U.S. Secretary of State arriving in the region and Iran expected to reopen its embassy in Saudi this week? Well, it's certainly not a coincidence. I think this was a very much um, choreographed uh, event to uh, by the Revolutionary Guard and the Defense Ministry to announce this development on a day when Iran is supposed to open its embassy in Riyadh. But also the U.S. Secretary of uh, State, Anthony Blinken, will be in Saudi Arabia to discuss uh, also Iran's uh, nuclear ambitions as well as its uh, defensive capabilities. The other issue is that there is a um, event coming up in October. There is a UN Security Council embargo on Iran purchasing or uh, selling any advanced uh, technology related to its ballistic missile program. That um, uh, resolution is due to be lifted in October as a result of the 2015 nuclear deal. Uh, the Iranians making this announcement of the first ever um, hypersonic ballistic missile certainly aimed at proving that their advancements continue despite the limitations that's been set on them by the international community. And also, they're opening up uh, to the global market. This technology will be technically up for sale in October when that UN Security Council embargo is lifted. So it's a message both of deterrence and also that Iran's defensive capabilities will be up for sale as well. Dorsa Jabari there in Tehran. Thanks very much, Dorsa.